Starting off your newscast this afternoon, Representative Jim Clyburn says he is sounding a warning for people in his district to pay special attention to school districts that have made a change in their superintendent positions. This comes after three low country superintendents were fired or resigned within the last year. Anna Harris joins us from outside of the Charleston County School District where Dr. Eric Gallian recently resigned with more. Yes, Rob, after emailing higher ups in education, I was able to find out that the state school boards association was the closest matchup to having any sort of oversight on local school boards. They do tell me that they do not have any responsibility over hiring and firing the superintendents. They do say part in a statement that by law, the responsibility and authority of deciding on superintendents falls on the locally elected school board. Berkeley, Colleton, and Charleston County Schools have parted ways with their superintendents in the last year, with some of these school boards not providing a reason why. Some local activists are pushing for more transparency and accountability to the public they serve. Whomever their constituents are, that's the students they're concerned with. And when you are an elected official, yeah, you might have only had certain constituents that voted for you, but ultimately you are in there to do the job for everybody that you represent within that district or that county or whatever. You're not just there to, to advocate for your constituents. That's not how the job operates. Tonight at 7, Clyburn explains why history cannot keep repeating itself with the full story. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, Anna Harris, Live 5 News.